Uh, I'm Ray McNown with AT Controls, and today I'm going to show you how to do a seat change on an 88 series ball valve. We will be removing the RTFE seats and replacing it with 50-50 seats for steam service. And the first thing you do is you close the valve. And you take your wrenches, loosen all four bolts. Slide your end off, slide your other end off, slightly push on the ball from the other side, and remove your seats. And to replace the seats, if you look at the back side, this side's got a little bit of an edge on it you can feel with your thumb. So you want to make sure that you're putting these sides against the ball. Make sure that it seals. Now to put it back together, examine your seats, make sure that you're going to put them back in the right way, which is commonly put in wrong. Slide your seat in, slide your ball back in, put your seat in, bring your end back over, Put your other end back on and tighten your four bolts back up. Okay, now that you have all the bolts on, I like to snug them up. And always leave the ball in the closed position. And always like to go corner to corner. Once you got your valve all tightened up, it's always good to uh, take a screwdriver or a punch or something and knock your R out on your RTFE then hang a paper tag on it or get uh, some metal stamps with an S on it and that's how easy to do a seat change on an 88 series ball valve. Thank you. My name is Ray McNown with AT Controls. Hi, I'm Brian Wright with AT Controls. Thanks for watching these videos. We always have engineers and our highly qualified technicians at the ready for any of your questions. We welcome your feedback and we thank you for your business.